Hi, let us continue. All right. Uh, now let's let us uh, find the total electric potential at position A. Okay, here we have a three point charge Q1, Q2, and Q3. And this is uh, just a test charge Q0. Okay, and this test charge is uh, at position A. If I want to find the electric potential, total electric potential at position A, so what do I do? Okay, as I said before, potential is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity, uh, for the charge, you must insert the negative sign. Okay, like the charge, you must insert the negative sign. It, it is a negative, if it is a negative charge. Okay, no need to draw vector. Okay, no need to draw vector diagram. Uh, no need to resolve x, y components. Uh, unlike, uh, unlike the electric field and electric force, uh, that one is a vector. Okay, let us look back to um, electric field and electric force. Um, where is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, electric field and electric force. Do you see that? Uh, for electric field, for electric field, we need to draw this vector, isn't it? You need to draw this E1, E2, E3. Uh, you need to do the vector diagram you need to resolve X and Y components. Uh, but for the, uh, you know, uh, yeah, for these two, the vector, field and force, uh, you need to draw vector diagram. You need to, uh, for the charge, ignore the sign. Okay, ignore the sign. Um, need to put directions. Uh, but for the potential, Potential and potential energy, uh, it is just a scalar quantity. Just a scalar quantity, magnitude, you just add up. Uh, just add up, you no need to draw any vector, no need to do any XY components. Uh, the charge you must, but for the charge, you must have the sign. Uh, if it is a negative charge, you must insert the negative sign. I will explain more of this in the problem solving. Okay, I will give examples. Make sure you check out the videos for problems okay now I, let's continue okay so for potential if i want to find potential at position a um potential uh you just total up because the scalar quantity just total up no need to do no need to find any x y component you just total up uh, for the force and electric field you cannot just total up like that cannot you must resolve in x y component before you can res before you can before you can uh, add up uh, this one you no need to resolve extra component you can straight away add up okay uh, so you can just take uh, we have three charge three point charge q1 q2 q3 that's why we have v1 v2 and v3 uh, if we have three point charge then you have three potential if you have four pot uh, if you have four point charge you have four point charges then you have four potential uh, you have two point charges, then you just have two potential okay, to add up. So not right now we have three po point charge, so we have three potential to total up. So we have uh, V1, V2, and V3 total up. Uh, the formula is KQ over R. Yeah? KQ over R. So Q1, Q2, Q3, R1, R2, R3. Uh, R1, R2, R3 is it just, it's just the distance between uh each respective charge to the point a uh, like r1 is between uh, q1 and a r2 is between q2 and a uh, r3 is between q3 and a okay and q1 q2 q3 are their respective charges so as you can see uh, for scalar quantity like potential the charge if it is a negative charge you must insert the negative sign. Uh, so uh, Q1 is a positive charge, so it's a positive sign. Q2, uh, Q2 is a negative point charge. Negative point charge, so this Q2, you must insert the negative sign. When you substitute the value, when you substitute the value, make sure you must substitute the negative sign uh, also. Uh, you must substitute the negative sign also. Uh, unlike the force and field strength, the vectors, you no need to you no need to substitute the negative sign when you find the magnitude. Okay.
Q3 is also a negative negative charge, so Q3 must insert negative sign. Uh, okay, so that is the potential uh, for point A. Uh, to find potential at point A, this test charge is not necessary. Uh, if this test charge Q0 is not is unavailable, if there is no if there is no test charge over here, the potential is still available. Ah, the potential is still available at point A because potential is provided by Q1, Q2, and Q3. The point charge uh, is not provided by the test charge. So if test charge Q0 is not available there, no problem. Potential is still there. You still can find the potential at that point. You understand? Because potential is provided by the, the charges that provide the electric field. Uh, for the test charge okay so uh, potential is provided by q1 q2 q3 is not provided by q0 now the next one what is the total electric potential energy electric potential energy of test charge q0 at position a uh, so for potential energy uh, it must be possessed by the test charge uh, you must have test charge uh, to possess that potential energy. If there is no pot if there is no test charge here, who 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 possess the energy? Who possess the energy? If there is no charge there, you must have someone to possess the energy, isn't it? Uh, so in this case, it is the test charge, test charge that possess the potential energy. Uh, that's why potential energy need to consider the test charge also. Need to consider both charge, the point charge and test charge. Go, oh, okay, okay. So how to find the total potential energy of that test charge at this position? Uh, since we already have total potential at position A, so. Uh, by using the formula, you know, the, still remember the formula? Uh, we know that uh, potential is uh, potential energy per Q0, isn't it? Uh, so, how to find the potential, potential energy? Uh, just multiply above. Uh, just the test charge multiply above. So, the potential energy of, of that test charge, of the test charge at A, is equal to Q0, the, the, char the test charge itself multiplied by the total potential, total potential provided by the point charge, uh, VA. Uh, we already got VA from here. VA, how do you find VA? You just total up the V1 plus V2 plus V3, V1 plus V2 plus V3, total up all the potential by all point charge. Yeah, Poten potential provided by all three point charge. The total potential multiplied by the test charge uh, is the total potential energy possessed by the test charge. So we can say this test charge we can say uh, we can say this test charge Q naught it has potential energy of U A. Uh, it possess potential energy of U A. Okay, after after multiply by Q naught. Okay, uh, that's what it means. And um, the same thing, potential energy is a scalar quantity and this test charge now is a negative test charge, negative test charge. So make sure when you find the potential energy, the test charge also must insert a negative sign because it is a negative test charge. Negative test charge. Because potential energy is also a scalar quantity, so the test charge here, because the test charge is negative test charge, so this test charge must put in the, must substitute in the negative value. Uh, don't forget the negative sign. Okay? Good. Now, um, now, uh, now here we have a total electric potential energy, energy, of a system system of point charges. Uh, so now we have um, 
uh, three, three point charge here. We have three point charge. We have Q1, Q2, Q3. Uh, between Q1 and Q2, this is the distance R12. Between 2 and 3, we have R23. Between 1 and 3, we have R13 distance. So now I want to find total electric potential energy of this system. System of point charges. Should actually put a negative uh, S here. Uh, this the whole this whole thing, you know, this whole thing is actually a system of point charges. Uh, a system of point charges. So, how to find the total energy of this system of charge? Do you think these charges? When bring close to each other, like this one, bring close to each other with, with distance one R12, R13, and R23. Do they possess, do these three, all these three charges, do they have potential energy? Of course, they have potential energy. Uh, when you bring them close to each other, like Q1 and Q3, they repel each other, repel. So when you release, this Q1 and Q3, they repel each other. They will, they will, when they repel, they will, this potential energy will change to kinetic energy, you know? Uh, Q1 and Q3, they repel each other. Uh, they, they, once they release, they will be uh, repel. They will repel each other and change to kinetic energy. You know that? Uh, where, where do you get this kinetic energy? Uh, from the Potential energy stored in this system, in this system of point charges. So how to find the total potential energy of the whole system of point charges? How to find? Uh, so very easy. Since you have three charge, so you need to find relationship between uh, each pair, between each pair, between one, two, between one, three, between two and three. Uh, so total potential energy is u12 between 1 and 2 plus u13 between 1 and 3 plus u23 uh, 2 and 3 uh, so the formula of potential energy is kqq over r uh, r no square no square just r uh, so u12 is q1 q2 and distance r12 r12 between them one u2 u13 is q1 q3 r13 U2, U3 is Q2, Q3 over R2, 3. Uh, okay? Uh, relationship between them. So, uh, this K is uh, common. This K, they are common. Can factor out. Factor out the common. K just put outside. Just write one, once enough. Which one is better? You want to write three times or you want to write one times? Of course, one times. Okay? Now, um, yeah. Uh, we have negative point charge. Q1 and Q3, both of them are negative. So when you want to find the potential energy of the system of charge, uh, they are, this is a scalar quantity. Again, this is a... What? This is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity, the charge, you need to put negative sign. If it is a negative charge, negative charge so q1 is a negative charge q1 and q3 q3 also negative so uh, q1 and q3 you must put negative only the q2 is positive positive charge okay so when you want to find the value of total potential energy make sure the charge you must have negative sign if it is a negative charge okay so now you may you will ask me what is the difference between total electric potential energy of test charge at certain position compared to total potential energy of the whole system of point charges? You may ask me what's the difference? What's the difference? Huh? What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference between potential energy of just one charge and the potential energy of the whole system of three charges? What's the difference? You tell me. Huh. Obvious, isn't it? This potential energy is possessed by only, we just consider only the potential energy possessed by only the test charge. Uh, for this one, we only consider the potential energy possessed by only the test charge, one charge. Uh, okay? 
But this one, this formula is to find the total potential energy possessed by all three charges bring close to each other. Uh, all three charges. It means the poten total potential energy of all three charges. Depend on how many charges are there. If you have only two charge, uh, then the system is only two charge. Potential energy by two charge. If you have four charge, then it's the potential energy of the system of four point charges. Uh, so right now you only have three point charges. So this formula is the total electric potential energy for the system stored, uh, the total electric potential energy stored by the system of all three three charges. Uh, this one is only one potential energy stored by only one charge, which is the test charge. Okay, and this one, the system of point charges is actually forming the concept of capacitor, which is the chapter two, uh, which you will le learn later on. Uh, why you learn this chapter before the capacitor? Uh, because this one, yeah, you must understand this. Capacitor actually stored electric potential energy. Electric potential energy. If you look carefully to the capacitor. Capacitor actually stored, actually stored what? Uh, it actually stored, um, uh, you know, the, you know, you have a capacitor, uh, it, it actually stored um, many, many negative charge. I store many, many negative charge here. Uh, many, uh, you have a positive plate and negative plate. It stored many electron at one plate. You know that? It stored many electron at one plate. So it has many, many. It has many many charge bring close to each other. You have Q1, Q2, Q3. You know capacitor? You know what is capacitor? Uh, capacitor is two parallel plate. You know that parallel plate? Q4. Uh, you know, these electrons, when they brought close to each other in one plate, they repel each other. You know, they repel each other. So this system, uh, this system, you know, this. This form a system of charge. This form a system of point charges. And this system, they store what kind of energy? They store electric potential energy, U, uh, which is this formula. Understand that? Uh, so, capacitor store, capacitor store electric potential energy capacitor actually store it store charge it store charge of course it store charge at the same time the more important thing is the capacitor store electric potential energy uh, which is this formula okay but actually capacitor we have another uh, another more important formula capacitor the electric potential energy the formula is u equal to half cv square uh, half CV square capacitance times voltage half CV square capacitor we can find electric potential energy electric potential energy stored by capacitor is half CV square uh, actually half CV square come from this formula kqq over r the whole system of charge but this one is microscopic huh? you can say uh, this one in terms of uh, microscopic uh, microscopic uh, this half CV square is already gone into macroscopic. Uh, because why we say this is microscopic? Because uh, this one take one charge and one charge. Huh, yeah. If a uh, capacitor, how many charge are there? Not just four charge? It got millions of charge there. Uh, so, uh, we use a macroscopic formula to find the electric potential energy stored by capacitor. Uh, for this one, it's more for only a few charge. Uh, only a few charge. If you have many, many charge, you use this formula. Only few charge, you use this formula. Yeah, microscopically, only three charge, you use this formula. Okay. So that is the um um tot how to find the total potential, total potential energy for one charge and total potential energy for a system of charge. Remember. 
for this potential and potential energy both of them are scalar quantity scalar quantity you must the charge you must have negative sign if it is a negative charge and you just total up you don't need to find the vector no need to draw the vector diagram no need to draw no need no arrows no arrows and no xy components okay no xy components okay so that's it for uh, this uh, part okay stay tuned for the work done bye